What's going on, YouTubers? We haven't did one of these vlogs in a while. So, uh, while we walk, let's do a little bit of talk about some crypto. Um, so yeah, not financial advice. Let's just take this walk while we, uh, crawl our Bronco. So, um, Solana's been doing real good. I really don't want to talk about the top three, and in my eyes, actually, I have top four cryptos. You know, because I don't even look at Casper as like a meme coin. It's not. It's a layer one. Um, so you got Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and Casper. XRP's up there, but it's just not, you know what I'm saying? XRP's going more like the social route with the banking infrastructure. Um, and they're also, uh, you know, doing this uh, Ready Player One metaverse game thing. So we'll see how it goes. Um, quick first while we're doing this vlog, we gotta say, um, goodbye to Gogeta. He's missing off the rock course. Um, this holiday weekend, hope everybody had an awesome holiday weekend. I ended up, uh, just staying home. I didn't go up north, but really wasn't feeling all that well. And, uh, so I didn't really get a chance to go up north, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to go up north, plus it was, the uh, boys had to go to their mom's. The weekend and everything like that so back to the to the vlog while it rains um i had a pretty good weekend you know crypto is going good one of my um crypto enthusiast buddies you know what i'm saying he kept telling me about mog he's the one that got me in the mog and i gotta say now this altcoin is doing real good look up your uh the ticker for mog I know it's on crypto.com and I think it's on the crypto the Kronos uh, blockchain. So I think that might be, you might be able to get it from Mexi, um, OKX and stuff like that, but I'm not for sure. All I know is I got it from crypto.com. Um, moving on, the next coin that I really want to talk about is uh, Pepe. Uh, win, win on the Solana blockchain, Pepe. I can't remember what blockchain Pepe is on. Pepe might be on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, I just know I got a little bit of Pepe. That's another coin that I've been watching, you know, messing around with. So we got Mog, Pepe, Win, and I want to talk about. Uh, there's 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 a bunch of them. There's there's a bunch of them, especially the Solana blockchain, the Solana meme coins. But next month, what's cool about? You now we're jumping around. So the Solana blockchain has all these meme coins. They got like bonk. You know, everybody's got that airdrop bonk from the Solana Saga One phone. Um, that's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. Like I said, Win Win's on the Solana blockchain. That's another coin that I hold. Um, Nyan. Now that's a gaming coin that's on the Solana blockchain. You guys want to take notes on this. Um, the beta testing for Nine. I tried to do like a live stream on it, but it really wasn't working with my 2060. Or maybe it's because I only had like 8 gigs of RAM in that PC, so probably wasn't going to be able to stream live stream and then, you know, boast it to YouTube like I wanted to. Uh, it did play on my Loki um, 256. It didn't really run on Adrian's Loki Zero. Uh, it did run with my 2016 or my 1660 graphics card. I have not used it on the 3060. It is coming to Steam, and that's another coin or that's another um, Web3 game that I'm really like bullish on just because it has a crypto aspect where you can earn money. Like I watched people that's been playing this since 2021, dude got an airdrop and it was, it was worth some money. I mean, he played for like, you know, I don't know, a bunch of hours. <laughs> like I think it was over like 90 hours maybe, but he had got a nice, a nice airdrop for that, you know, for participating in stuff like that. Just things that you can do, just the possibilities. Like my kids, they play Roblox you know, that's a metaverse game, right? And my kids buy these costumes, but they can't do nothing with them, kind of like Fortnite. But it's like, if they were NFTs, non-fungible tokens, they could turn around and be like, Dad, you know, I want some Robux, I want to buy this costume. And then they could turn around and be like, oh, I don't want this one no more. I want to trade it to somebody else. You know, and they can get something else and they can get value out of it. Or, oh, hey, Dad, I want to get this new RC car. Well, you know what? I got like a couple NFTs that I could sell. And then he goes and sells them. And then he goes and buys the RC car that he wants to buy. You know what I'm saying? That's just the possibilities are endless with Web3. You know what I'm saying? Now you got that stepping. That's another coin that I want to get into. 
I believe that's on the Solana blockchain. I'm really bullish on the Solana blockchain. But I think with Casper's new, um, Casper's going to give Solana and Ethereum a run for its money, I feel. Just because they're starting to get, um, what do you call, meme coins or tokenization on there, on Rust and everything implemented. And they're going to be able to... Uh, they're going to be able to have like meme coins, but it's not going to be smart contracts. Like it's going to be embedded like the smart contract. I don't know if the smart contract is embedded into it when I was uh, reading it, but I believe it's called. Oh, don't give me. It was like. Not Casper the Ghost. Casper the Ghost is one of the meme coins that's coming out. And then um, the creator's cat passed away. I'm like all over the place right now, but he's. They got a meme coin for his cat um, when that launches. So just in a couple days, you know, next month, Casper's going to be getting its layer one infrastructure for kind of like meme coins. So that's going to be cool, you know. And then another thing, back to Solana, Bunk and its tokenization is uh, is going to do some wonders, you know what I'm saying, especially with with them and uh it's not just a meme coin but it's actually got utility you know what i'm saying so that that's kind of cool and i would like to see that on the casper network too and the gas fees i believe on the casper network might be a little bit cheaper hopefully it's going to be cheaper than polygon it's going to be uh, cheaper than avalanche that's another one to look into um beam and uh look into uh you know it's just, it's got to overrule all those, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully it does. You know, we don't know. We'll we'll see. But it's just a quick little vlog. I like, this is one of my things that I love doing is crawling. I miss creating stuff. I got an airplane coming. All right, let that airplane pass by. And uh, I gotta get back out here and trim my trim my rock course, my um, my weed trimmer that I bought, the Works weed trimmer that I bought. It only came with one little pack of string, and I can't use any of my string for my gas weed trippers because I don't know Works. They got like a small filament of of uh, you know stuff, or the weed whip, and it's like a special little holder or something like that. It's pretty. It's pretty doggone weird. But we gotta get our wheel back up there. Rocco's doing good. But yeah, I'm just I'm like excited for all this new stuff, you know. I wanted to buy the new Casper Miner, but I was watching um Red Panda Mining. Check his channel out. I'm pretty sure you guys have. And uh, he was talking about, you know, the new Casper miners, like the new uh, KS5M and the new KS0. Now, I still haven't bought a Casper ASIC miner yet. I really want to get one. Every time I do save up and I do get one, I end up having to buy something else. Like, I got to spend some Solana, a couple Solanas. I got to buy a hot water tank because uh, I noticed that there was, like, some leaking at the bottom of the hot water tank. I think it's coming from the top. I could replace that fitting because that fitting is a little rusty. But uh, I think I'm just going to buy a new hot water tank. I'm going to check the date on the hot water tank. And it is a little, like, jagged at the bottom of it. So I, it's been worrying me for a couple days. So I'm just going to go this Saturday for my check. And, uh, oh, another good thing, you guys. Got my ex-wife all paid off. Paid her off, so... That's good. So now, me and the boys, we can actually start working on us, working on the house, buying them things that they want, you know, more things. Xavier wants a new laptop, so I want to save up, get them that. And we've just been, uh, just been chilling, you know. So it's, it's been a lot of stress off, and I don't have to work many weekends. I took a vacation day, like I said, this weekend. I was supposed to go up north, but I didn't end up going up north. I just chilled at the house and kind of cleaned up and... Did a lot of this right here, micro crawling and looking into cryptos and, you know, just trying to stay true with God and talk to God every day, you know, and letting him just lead my path in life and what he wants me to do, you know. 
so we don't put nothing on our plate that that we all can't handle you know what i'm saying everything that he puts on our plate it may seem hard and i know it may seem like man this is it's too much it's like running a marathon and not getting that gatorade and you see the person next to you they got the gatorade and they reaching out to you and you're trying to just catch up to them and grab that bottle of gatorade but you're struggling you know what i'm saying and god puts his hand on your shoulder and next thing you know you're flying like superman and you don't even need that gatorade and you made it to the finish line you know and that's 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 what i'm at that's what i'm about and that's what i want to feel you know someday yeah i'll find a soulmate but i'm not really looking into that you know right now it's all about me and my boys us buying cryptos not a financial advice it's just the hobby that we like doing and all these rc cards that we just bought they were all bought with crypto so i gotta say thank you god it's a blessing um something that i probably should have got into a long time ago and stayed with it but hey we all live and we all learn right so on that note i want to say god bless I want you guys to flow like water and uh, have a good day. I don't know. I think my mic was covered up by my hand. Yeah, I'll go back and look at the video. You know, it's 11 minutes anyway. So I just looked down and my hand was covering up the mic. So I don't even think that you guys were able to hear me. But if you guys were able to hear me, I want to say thank you for sticking it out. Um, like I said, the cryptos that I'm like bullish into, Caspa, obviously Bitcoin and Ethereum and XRP, but Solana, of course. Um, but the meme coins, Floki, Win, Bonk, you know, we'll just go through the list. That's off the top of my head. I, I don't really have like a um, Win. What else? Turbo. Now, Turbo, I believe, was made by a YouTuber, and that one's got me really excited for because created by a youtuber you know just a normal person just trying to create their own meme coin and that really inspires me to finish my micro scale garage hobby coin you know for all our seers out there you know what i'm saying like i don't know i would like to have it like a little a little like hobby blockchain like you know somebody 3d print something like don and everybody from t4 they 3d print like a chassis or something like that and it could be on the blockchain and that chassis is numbered right so let's just say that hobbyist orders that chassis it's an nft right and they bought it for 50 quid or uh, where did i get quid from is that even a currency if they buy it for like 50 usdt right uh, quant that's what i was trying to think of because quant's on the um the swift it's going to be part of swift banking and xrp and all that so what i'm saying is is like so somebody makes a frame or they make an rc car right and it's an NFT. And I would love to do this. I would love to be a part of this. We sell this RXC car. Even if it's a Traxxas TRX forum, it could be a non-fungible token. Like this car right here as is could be a non-fungible token. Uh, it comes with this gear, two little gears, metal rims. You know, that'd be its, it's kind of like power-ups, kind of like a Pokemon card, right? Well, I want to say sell this to said another hobbyist. You know what I'm saying? I sell him that car. And that car's on the blockchain. You know what I'm saying? And that car is worth something. Now our hobby cars are actually worth something. They're tokenized. You know, that's what I would like to have is, you know, a hobby coin or a Motley Garage coin. I, it ain't even got to be called Motley Garage. You know, that's stupid. It, it's, you know, I just, I would like to do it on the Solana blockchain and have it where it's infrastructure through the Casper blockchain too. But I would like to make it on the Casper blockchain first. And I think that'd be really, really cool. And something for us hobbyists that we could learn from, you know, and make a passive income from. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, and even like, you know how you got like drive and step in and all like that and stuff like that. And people go out and they crawl on their RC cars and stuff like that. What if you had like a uh, module in your car that was kind of like a miner or kind of like a GPS logic system that when you're walking through trails and you're making routes and stuff like that. Kind of like even when you're dirt biking, you know, it would map it out, right? So now you're getting paid for mapping out trail systems as you're walking with your RC car. Yeah, I don't know. That's just the thought in my head. But I'm just going to end it here. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Peace and love. God bless. And I'll see you guys in the next video.